Coach, what did you uh, think of your team's effort in a 4-2 loss to the Maple Leafs? <clears throat> you know what? Uh, I thought we came out really good in the first period. I thought it was pretty even. Um, you know, the chances after one. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, second period we kind of turned the puck over a little bit too much um, in saying that we had our opportunities, you know, and we had some chances on the power play. We just didn't find a way to score. Can you take us through the decision to, to pull Hogberg? You know what? I don't think it's on Hoggy uh, at all. I just think... Uh, you know, pucks found their way in a couple bad bounces, and uh, um, I just thought it was a time maybe to change the momentum for us more than it was uh, a pull because he, did, you know, didn't have it going. A couple bad breaks, but uh, Andy came in and he was great for us, gave us every opportunity to come back and win the game. What's it like for you, for you and the the guys in the team to see a guy like Cody Goldbluff score his first since 2015? Uh, well. There's some debate over there whether it touched Duke uh, in the leg or not. Um, it looked like it deflected and, and the puck flickered after, so uh, we'll have to find out if it hit Duke or not. But uh, if he did, you know what, he's been a great soldier. Um, he's worked hard every day. He's kept a great attitude, you know, whether he goes through long stretches and not playing. And, uh, you know, I thought, uh, you know, he gave us uh, the good shifts for the ones he had tonight. Well, um, you know, I, I asked him, and he he did say that to, to Cody, but I asked him, and he said it hit, it hit his leg, you know. So, um, you know, no one no one wants to be that guy. Um, but if it hit his leg, it's his goal, and it is what it is. But uh, they'll have to look into it, and the league will decide. Great energy. Um, you know what? I, I thought uh, some of our guys were a little bit sluggish uh, in saying that that's a fast team. And uh, they were, you know, we had to adjust a little bit to the speed. Um great energy and that's what we want going forward for our young group um you know as we continue to grow and we, we continue to you know have good players come join us here um and some of the young guys you know we we want that kind of crowd every night we're going to need that um you know and, the, and and to make this a building that it's tough to come into <coughs> uh no no um you know we're going to go with andy tomorrow uh that was the plan and uh you know hockey's played a lot of minutes and uh of late and it's it's a hard thing to do it's andy's start tomorrow i thought he came in you know he didn't get a ton of work but the work that he had they were high end and he made those saves so he'll get a chance again tomorrow yeah for sure he 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 fed on the energy he knew we needed the saves he made the ones he had to to give us every chance to get that goalie out and, and give us a chance to win he looked uh energized for sure with the crowd and, and the uh, the game, the excitement of the game. And, uh, you know, the fans have certainly seen him play some great hockey here in this building, and he was really good tonight. Absolutely. You know what? Whatever keeps it out doesn't matter to me. Um, <clears throat> you know, there wasn't much net to shoot out there. He got down and he made the save. Like I said, our, our guys seem energized to have him in there, um, you know, playing in a game with a big crowd. And I know he's, uh, he's won this organization a lot of games. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought he was good.